Well, hello guys, Frank Merkel here again. Today's episode, Rollerizing your Ford C6. I try to give you the best explanation as I possibly can. I've been doing this for years and years. And I'll show you what we got. Follow me along. This right here is all the gear trying out of a Ford C6. Centered a little better. Okay. That's your whole gear train when it's rollerized. Now, you try to do that with thrust washers. Okay. This here's your number three. This one goes into the forward drum. All you got to do is make sure when you're rollerizing stuff, this dimension here. Here to this thrust washer is two to ten thousandths less than what this distance, the pocket in the pocket where this trunk is going to sit, two to ten thousandths less than what this number here is. Okay? Simple. This number three. Comes in different variations. This is an older style that's got a shoulder on it so it sits in there, can't come out at all, which there's really no need for it. So the change to this style, there's no shoulder. You always make sure that the, the cup here, the outside edge, this will be going into the drum. Okay? That goes into the drum. The outside lip goes into the drum. Okay. This is the number four thrust washer. Don't need to rollerize that. The only time that sees any pressure at all is when you're in reverse. And who races in reverse? Now we come down. This is number five. This is on the front planetary. I got the ring gear off just so it's easier to show you. Okay. This bearing here fits in here. You put it the same way. This here, when you cut it, you want it to fit nice, not loose. Okay. There's the numbers. You cut this pocket 73 thou deep with an OD of 3.44. See, there's a little fudge factor in this, too, I should tell you right now. Like, if this dimension here, everything assembled here, if your pocket depth is wrong. Like, when you measure like this, you may take this measurement, and it's more than this. You can always chuck this in the lace and take a couple, couple, couple thou off it, ten thou off it, so that you get that dimension perfect. That's how you blueprint these things. That's what I do. You cut this. I like I like five thousands. You know, two to ten. I like five thousands. A nice round number difference here. Because all the only time this is going to move at all is when you put it in reverse. Okay. Is that simple enough? Okay. We've got that cut. Okay. The front planetary. You need to cut that. Larger than the outside of this race, by 50 thou at least, 20 thou deep, and then you're going to need the machine down the center because this is, this factory ones are a little big. So you need to cut it down to 2.480. So that's your number five. Okay, this is your factory sun gear. Take that out. Now this is oh. Yeah. Number 
six. Number six is in here. Can't get that one out. If it's screwed up, throw the fucking planetary away. Okay. This is number seven. These are a GM Turbo 350 front stator support bearing. You need to cut this face. 83 thou deep with an OD of 2.890. You got to use a carbide bit on this here because you're cutting into these tool steel pins. It's really cut tough going. Same on this side. There's another one. This here, you got to cut 30 thou deep. But I cut this larger, the 50 thou larger, so you cut it to 2.940. Because you want to have extra clearance on this here so that oil can get in. If you got it a tight fit, and there's a tight fit in the bottom, there's no way oil's going to get in this. So you need an extra, you need 50 thou so the oil can get in to lubricate these. Okay. And the rear here, you cut this 50 thou deep. This is the large spline rear hub. Long spline rear hub, I should say. It's got one inch long splines. And you cut to 2.980. Now, if you want to run the forward bearing, I'll give you the part numbers here in a bit. You have to cut down the one-way race down to 1.008 to 1.010 thousandths of an inch. But there's two ways to kin the cat on this one. You can use the GM bearing which I don't really like because this bearing is way more substantial than the GM, GM bearing. But, you know, a lot of guys are cheaper. So then you cut this, cut it down 80 thou deep, a pocket, with a 2.1890 OD. Give you part numbers here. You can see then this GM part number, you go and you go and do this transport number, you'll come up with five different numbers from different suppliers. They're all exactly the same bearing. These here, three and six, those are the stock. Every C6 has got that got those bearings in them. That was rollerized by Ford back when they first designed and built the transmission. Okay. Got any questions? Leave them in the comments. I try to do the best I can. I only have been doing this for so goddamn long. I can't, I can't remember anymore. But have a good night. Hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Good night, all. Bye.